Welcome to Mini Machines 101, tool making and restoration. My name is Lex and as always, it's a pleasure to serve as your guide today. Now this presentation is not only one of our General Machinist series, but it's also the very first in our Vintage Motorcycle Restoration series. Now the reason for its dual citizenship is simple. The skills we'll discuss today are ones that every hobby machinist should have, whether or not he or she has any interest in restoring vintage vehicles. Basic tool making skills, including layout techniques and tool fabrication, are something that all of us are going to require at some point down the line. There are times when a piece of equipment needs repair or disassembly, and quite often, the only way to do this without damaging the part in question will be to use a specialized one-off piece of tooling. That's tooling that we as machinists can make. This is especially true with vintage machinery. The factory tooling is going to be inaccessible, and since the parts we're trying to disassemble are probably also unobtainable, specialized tooling is the only sane recourse. It's good to be a machinist, isn't it? A side benefit for those who collect or repair vintage vehicles is resale value. Now, unless your initials are Jay Leno or one of a few other famous collectors, you'll probably have to face the sad day when one of your acquisitions will need to be sold off. Now, over the years, I've sold off many, many bikes, but I've always gotten a better price when I could include the tooling along with the bike. Oftentimes, parts like this oil pump shaft get mushroomed and damaged beyond the ability of thread chasers or dies to repair them. But with a mini lathe and some technique, you can easily synchronize those threads and bring the part back into use. I think you're going to love that section. If you've been with us before, then you probably know what I'm going to say next. Safety. Now, I'm not going to continue to bother you with statistics and horror stories. Let's just let it suffice to say that even one accident is too many, especially if it could have been easily prevented, and most accidents can be. Our safety section can't protect you from anything, but it can help you get started in thinking in a safety-first manner, and a proper safety-first mindset can protect you, and to an amazing degree. So please, just take a couple of minutes and watch the section. Another caveat would be appropriate here. In this presentation, you're going to see a couple of brief welding segments. Now, while we are working on a series devoted to hobby welding, this isn't it. So please, do not attempt to weld anything unless you have the proper training, conditions, supervision, and safety equipment. All forms of welding are hazardous. There are just too many ways that a person could not only hurt him or herself, but others too. And the capacity for property damage is almost unbelievable. So again, unless you're a trained, competent welder, do not attempt to weld anything until you get that necessary instruction. From all of us here at Swarfrat, thanks so much for purchasing this presentation. We really hope you'll find it educational and enjoyable. As always, we've got a lot of ground to cover, so whenever you're ready, let's get started.